I have an update on Celine Cross of Spirit in the Sky in Macomb, Illinois. It turns out that she's a lot worse than we thought. Remember that woman in the back who was initially claimed that this woman was her daughter? Well, I've been in touch with her and I can verify that she is not her daughter, but her employee. And what she has to say is going to absolutely shock you. Watch till the end, because the last thing is, it's, it's, ins- it's, it's, it's I just wanted to um say that um I did know who she was as a person. I was working there since um like the end of September and she would say things like death to all J E W S's and that uh black people were the N word and that they would all steal from her and that they were disrespectful and stupid and undereducated and a bunch of other racist things and that all gay people are pedophiles and that they don't deserve to adopt children because they're grooming them and that all plus size people are disgusting that they should cover up um i did stay because i knew the customers like most of the customers were black gay or plus size and i wanted to be there and i worked from seven to nine by myself and people would come in because i was there because they felt safe And they didn't feel safe knowing that she was there, which was the situation, unfortunately. One of my friends brought in her friends thinking I was going to be there. And when I wasn't, they continued to shop. But Celine had texted me help. So I went in and I was surprised to see that there wasn't a situation. Everyone was very respectful. But um, I stayed for as long as I could. But towards the end, after that video... After that would happen in that video, I quit, and she's refusing to pay me the $300 she owes me. She also has some of my belongings that she's refusing to give back, and things that belong to my children. So, at this point, I'm calling everything a loss. Um, I'm just hoping everybody sees these videos that are being posted, and nobody goes there, and that she's shut down. And I've been working with the mayor and the news and everybody else trying to raise awareness about her. Um... My personal experience as an employee was horrific as well. She would constantly scream at me for no reason or she would go off on me um, for things that like I would do the cash register a certain way and like the way that she told me and then she would say that I was doing it wrong and scream at me in front of customers. But then like later on, she'll be like, oh, you were doing it right. I'm so sorry. And things like that. Um, She would tell me to do things and she just sat there the entire time on her phone or whatever and just sat there and was reading things out loud about um like propaganda and whatever the crap she usually talks about um like the holocaust ever happened and things like that but she would give me like five things to do at once and they were like big things they weren't just like small things like she would mess up the entire racks like everywhere and then make me fix them and say oh my god this is a mess how did you let it get like this but she just messed it up after I fixed it and then she'd be like she would tell me to do something she'd be like okay do it do it do it do it do it now and she would tap on things aggressively and get in my face and scream at me um and like I said if it wasn't for needing the money and wanting to protect the customers I would not have worked there for as long as I did I also want to say that she has a something against COVID she says that COVID is fake and that it's a um the government is trying to poison us and like make us have a Bluetooth signal. Um, She says that I am neglectful and um, abusive towards my children for having them vaccinated. I'm vaccinated, my kids are vaccinated, and not just the COVID vaccine. So she uh, would get really angry at me about that and she would say that I needed to detox. So I would have to bring cups in that I knew she couldn't get into easily or bring them around with me because um, she was putting something in my drink and um, I tasted it a few times and then I opened my cup and there would be like powder and stuff in there and I'd be like, what is this? And she would full on tell me what it was. And I can't remember what it was right now, but um, you know, that's just beside the point. Like she was, she was drugging me um, basically. And um, she would not allow customers in her store with a mask on. She would scream at them and tell them to leave if they didn't take off off their mask during the COVID, um, like shutdowns where everyone was wearing a mask. Um, I didn't work there at that time, but I did know about it. Um, but it was, you know, it's just stupid. She was drugging her. She was drugging her. (laughs) 